Today we're going to make a sea crown from my book Storm Dragon. Now the idea is to make a crown that looks as if it comes straight from the sea. So we're working colours like turquoise and orange and greens and use textured paper and netting from orange bags or lemon bags. And maybe even you have some shells that you can add to your crown. If you have bits and pieces of ribbon or plastic beads or those sticky stars that you can turn into starfish, as much texture as you can. We put it all together, bendy sticks. These are sticks from um, the hazelnut, the ornamental hazelnut tree, or the dogwood trees, which has the red colored. To make a sea crown, you have to gather a few bits and pieces. Um, this, these sticks are from the garden. You might not find the red ones easily, but any, any kind of twig will make the base for the crown. So you're going to twine them in um, to make a circle. The orange um, netting has got stuck to that, but I'll twist that in later. So you have the central crown and um, it, should, it should fit your head. You should try it on whoever you're making it to fit. And that forms the base. And then you have all these different textures of paper. The um, gardener's wire that you can get from any gardening shop is very helpful. And also this twine, it's also from a gardening shop because it's green, it sort of fits in with the sea theme. And as far as paper is concerned, I've actually splashed paint onto pieces of card. I think they're just um, pieces of um, cereal boxes and splashed with paint in sort of sea colors. As an extra bit, I've got a little bit of um, sequin, a roll of sequin, but you don't have to use that. You can use glitter. And here's a piece of glitter paper as well. This happens to be green, but you can use silver, you can use blue, anything you like. And over here in a box, I do have some shells. They might be difficult to tie on. I'll have to experiment. That's part of an oyster shell. Some of you might not be lucky enough to live near the sea. So you can make your um, shells out of cardboard and cover them with, with uh, tin foil. Um, if you have got shells, it's always interesting or good to have ones with holes because again, you can use the wire to tie it onto the base of your crown. Now, when I say you tie it on, these are just plastic beads and the sparklier the better. Plastic beads are actually better than using heavy ones because they won't make the crown sink or pull down too hard on the crown and all you do is you twist your wire, you push it through the hole and twist it around and then I'm going to attach that to the edge of the crown. So these are also plastic beads here, these blue um, silvery ones. They look as if they've got silver paper inside. I thought they looked rather like nice pearls. And all these are plastic bits and pieces and not at all expensive, just things I found lying around. So if you have got shells, that's great pieces. So there we have it, colored paper, wire to help us, some plastic beads, the actual crown itself, um, some netting that's come from an orange bag, a pair of scissors, and um, I could have made my crown much thicker with more of these twigs. So here we have some finished crowns, all put together with some of the makers as well, wearing their finished products.